In the previous video, we reviewed five beaches on the south side of Oahu. Welcome to our ultimate beach tour, Oahu, Hawaii, where we are taking you on an in-depth tour around the entire island, reviewing over 20 of the best beaches Oahu has to offer. If beaches are your thing, this series is for you. On the east side of Oahu, which is also known as the windward side of the island, we selected four beaches. Lanakai Beach, which we're standing on right now, Kailua Beach, Waimanalo Beach, and our favorite Makapu'u Beach. East side is also known for its sunrises, so no matter which beach you choose on the east side, you're guaranteed an epic sunrise. We're starting off our east side tour with one of our favorite beach for catching waves, Makapu'u Beach. It is located behind Makapu'u Lighthouse and is also known as Makapu'u Point which by the way is also known for its great sunrise hike. Right across from Makapu'u Beach, you will also find Sea Life Park. This is an amazing marine mammal park, bird sanctuary and aquarium. Great place for adults and kids alike. We will have a full review on this park in our future vlog, things to do with kids on Oahu. So be sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when that vlog comes out next. The parking at Makapu'u Beach is very small and fills up very fast. This beach is famous for body borders with strong waves and rip currents all year round. You must be a confident swimmer to enter these waters. And to get to this beach, it requires a short hike over large rocks. Lifeguards are on duty warning newcomers the danger of the currents. Makapu'u Beach does have a public restroom, shower, and changing area near the parking lot. The beach consistently erodes due to the strong shore breaks and changes constantly. The sand is grainy and the shoreline is wide, so there are plenty of space for tanning. There is no shaded area during the first part of the day, but once the sun goes west, the towering volcano cliffs behind the beach cast a shadow covering the shoreline. There are large lava rocks sticking out of the water that swimmers and bodyboarders need to be aware of. The ocean floor is mostly sandy. And in the distance, you can see two distinct islands, which are prohibited and they're bird sanctuaries. Makapu'u is also known for its tide pools. But be careful, if the waves are too strong, it can push you against the very sharp, jagged lava rocks. Makapu'u is a great beach tucked away from most, but worth checking out. So you want to avoid the crowds without traveling too far from Waikiki? Well, look no further. Waimanalo Bay Beach Park is just a short 30 minute drive from Waikiki and just 5 minutes away from Makapu'u Beach. This beach stretches over 3 miles with uninterrupted fine pristine soft sand, perfect for long lazy strolls along the shore. Unlike Makapu'u Beach, Waimanalo Beach waters are much calmer. The ocean floor does not have too many rocks near the shore, but there is a large reef protecting the bay from waves. You will see paddleboarders here as well as divers and snorkelers. There are no commercial equipment rentals, so be sure to bring your own gear. The views here are breathtaking with long towering mountain ridges as your backdrop. No wonder this is rated amongst Oahu's top beaches. There are a lot of trees growing alongside the shore. When the sun goes over the tree line, the trees cast a shadow on the sand. If you prefer direct sunlight, the sand is wide enough for you to have the best of both worlds. This beach park does offer several bathrooms, shower, changing areas, picnic tables, and parking along the three mile stretch. 
you'll be hard pressed not to notice the tent dwellers or tent city along the side of the highway. The saddened reality is these tents belong to the homeless. They are only located in a small area, but nonetheless, there is a homeless community there. You can drive by that entrance, further up you'll see McDonald's. This is where we usually make our turn and drive all the way down to the dead end, where we enter the beach. Besides McDonald's, you could take a short drive to find a few small shacks on the side of the road that sell cheap lunch plates. Even though the shacks look really old, the food is decent. All in all, Waimanalo Beach Park is truly picturesque and another highly recommended beach. Next up, we have Kailua Beach Park. Many people flock through the charming town of Kailua to get to Kailua Beach due to its tranquility and beautiful mountain ridges in its background. It all makes for a stunning experience. Kailua is a crescent-shaped beach that spans roughly 2.5 miles. What makes this beach truly pristine is its powdery, fine white sand that you will immediately notice once your feet touches it. The shoreline slopes slowly into the clear turquoise water with mild gentle waves and constant gentle breeze. A perfect sandy shore with little to no rocks by the shore and shallow waters make Kailua Beach perfect for kids. This beach does have some shaded area, mostly up on the tree lines at the top of the embankment, but for the most part, you'll have no problem getting roasted here. Kailua Beach is not only a beach, it features a 30-acre public park with plenty of picnic tables, bathrooms, showers, changing areas, and a lifeguard which makes it a perfect spot for tourists and for local families. As a side note, if it's your first time in Kailua Beach, keep an eye out for the Birdman. This unique Hawaiian resident is truly a bird whisperer. You will watch as hundreds of pigeons circle around him as he walks the beach. With a simple hand gestures, all the pigeons will swoop down on his arm, on his head, and just all around him. It's something awesome to see. There is a nearby place to rent kayaks. It is close enough to walk with the kayaks to the beach upon rental. But it's first come, first serve, and they do sell out on kayaks very fast, so we recommend you get there early in the morning. On that topic of water sports, you can snorkel here, great for paddle boarding, not so much surfing or bodyboarding. The waves are just not big enough. It is called the windward side for a reason. It does get windy, so you may spot a few windsurfers throughout the day. In the distance, you will see a flat island. This is Popo'ia Island, which is frequented by kayakers and paddle boarders. And if you're a really good swimmer, it is possible to swim there, as you can see in this clip of my daughter's friend swimming while visiting us. Parking is very challenging at this beach. With a few small parking lots, they fill up very fast, so be prepared to do some circling and trying to find parking. You can park to the side of the road, but again, it does fill up very fast. Looking for a bite to eat? Well, right across the street, you'll find a cozy little island steakhouse, Buzzes. We actually ate there, and the food as well as the service was fantastic. Keep in mind, during the evening hours, the dress code strictly prohibits beach attire and requires a button down for men. Let us know in the comment below if you'd like us to do a full review on Buzzes. There is also convenience stores walking distance from the beach and tons of options in Kailua Town. Kailua Beach is definitely a must visit beach. We highly recommend it and you can thank us later. On our next stop is the neighboring Sandy Paradise to Kailua Beach Park. Just a quick two minutes away from Kailua Beach, and 35 minutes from Waikiki, these beaches are so close they share the same community of Kailua. Lanikai Beach is very special in its own way. The beach is only a half mile, 
but it's consistently ranked amongst the best beaches in the world and is the only American beach to be ranked the best beach in the world. Now such a popular beach doesn't come without its struggles getting there. Lanikai Beach is in a primarily upper class swanky residential area with homes costing in upwards of millions of dollars. There are no public parking lots, so with no parking facilities and lots of private homes with driveways, parking is near impossible. You may need to circle for 30 minutes or more looking for parking, not unless you arrive super early, 7, 8 o'clock a.m. early. Oh, and if you try parking too close to someone's driveway, you may be towed or get a $200 fine. Good luck getting back to Waikiki, yeah? Here's an interesting fact. All beaches in Hawaii are public. Even though all these private million dollar homes line this golden sand beach, Lanikai is no exception to the rule. So if you own these homes and your backyard is Lanikai Beach or any other beach for that matter, beachgoers can always use the public beach access path to go onto the beach and enjoy. There are no lifeguards, no showers, and as I mentioned before, no parking. And there's actually no bathroom. If you needed to use the restroom or a shower, you basically have to go back to Kailua Beach where there are restroom facilities. The turquoise waters here are pristine and calm, perfect for kayaking, paddle boarding, and snorkeling. The ocean floor by the shoreline is really shallow and does not have any rocks, but swimming out a little further, you will notice large reef rocks that you will be forced to swim around. Keep in mind, there are no rentals on this beach and little to no shade, so come equipped. Weekdays are the best time to visit this beach. Weekends are flooded with people. If you're here during the summer months, there is no way around this. This beach is packed every single day. Lanikai Beach is one of the most iconic places for photographers and Instagrammers. In the distance, you will notice two islands, the Moks. One of these islands are often visited by kayakers. The other is restricted. It is a bird sanctuary. Your backdrop is a mammoth mountain ridge where you can also hike to the top, known as Lanikai Pillbox. Watch our full review on that hike. We'll leave the description in the link below. Being that Lanikai Beach is a part of a quiet residential neighborhood, there are no stores or restaurants. The nearest place to get food, snacks, and water would be the same locations as for Kailua Beach. Thank you for sticking with us this far. And now it's time for our bonus beach, which is roughly 30 minutes away from Lanikai Beach and 45 minutes away from Waikiki. You can visit the Secret Island Beach. Secret Island is a private property of Kualoa Ranch. Now this ranch offers many tours from horseback riding, quad biking, bicycling tours, all through this vast canyons of plush green mountain ridges. This is where dozens of movies were shot, including Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, 50 First Dates, Hawaii Five-0, Pearl Harbor, Godzilla, Jumanji, and so many others. The cool part about this tour, you can still see the props used in the movies, so it's like taking a tour on an outdoor movie set. One of the tours include Secret Island Adventure. To get to Secret Island for free, in your GPS, you want to put in Kualoa Regional Park. Once there, drive all the way to the back of the parking lot. You'll see a roundabout. Enter the roundabout, but keep to your right. You will see a sign for campgrounds. The road will turn into gravel. Keep driving towards the back till the end. You will see camping grounds, large restrooms, showers, and parking. Once you've parked, walk past the tents, to the right, through the shrubs, onto a sandy, narrow path going alongside the shore. Continue walking about eight minutes until you see an opening to the beach. Boom, you have arrived. This is one of Oahu's rare beaches that is located on private property. You can still visit this beach, but as you walk further up the beach, you'll notice a recreational area with kayaks, water sport equipments, hammocks, volleyball nets, rope swings, picnic tables, and a constructed shaded area. This is the private part. 
that area is designated for those who have booked this beach experience through Kualoa Ranch. There are guards there and they will tell you this is private property if you happen to stray in that area. Normally, by 4 p.m., the ranch closes its operation on this beach and there will be no one there except for locals. This is a great opportunity for you to check out Mo'ili Pond and its stunning views. The sand on this beach is coarse, mixed with coral and broken shells, and the shore drops off very quickly. There are no lifeguards here, and the only restroom or shower is back where you park. So keep in mind, the further you go on the beach, the longer you will have to walk back to get to the restrooms. But if you book through the Kualoa Ranch, all these amenities will be available for you. The nearest snacks and drink you can find is at the Macadamia Nut Outlet. We've done a full review on this outlet and we will leave a link in the description. Or at the cafe at the Kualoa Ranch. The scenery here is stunning. You will also see the Mokoili Island, most commonly known as Chinaman's Hat in the distance. Massive ridges as a backdrop, great for photo taking and wedding photos as well. If you're on this side of the island, get off the beaten path and check out Secret Island. In our part 3 of our ultimate beach tour, Oahu, Hawaii, we will be heading to the famous North Shore, known for its killer food trucks and epic monster waves, a surfer's paradise. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. We hope you've learned something new or different so far on our Southside and Eastside beach tours. If you haven't seen part one, Southside, you can find that link at the end of this video or in the description below. And if you'd like to see parts three and four, be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification this way you know when the videos are published. And we'd appreciate it if you'd share this video with someone who would also enjoy it. Until then, just be out with us.